viral letter of the Minister of State for Petroleum, Ibe Kachiku, to the President has got the attention of the Senate. They have set up a committee to investigate the matter. And Senator Issa Mishao is calling out the police again. This time, he gives very detailed description of the Ross in the police who is trading pregnancy for promotion. Can these allegations be proven? The last is yet to be heard. Oh, many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Sheung Okimbaloye in Abuja, the nation's capital. Welcome, everyone. It's a fast-paced program tonight. So stick with us, and let's get started. Let's make a quick stop in Ekiti State, where the people of the state are preparing for the local government elections in the state. This time around, the People's Democratic Party in the state is holding its primary and this is the style the party says it wants to use in conducting the primary. It's the open ballot system of an election. It's popularly called the option A4. The party says it wants to be transparent and be straightforward in all its dealings, especially at this stage of this election. The governor of the state, Ayodele Fayoshe, believes option A4 system is best for Nigeria's electoral process. If only we choose to be sincere, option A4 produced Adiola, made a success of that election. But the, the, the problem we have in Nigeria is leaders don't want a transparent process. They want a way to fiddle with the process when they cannot win. That's why. Well, now, this is not uh, our major story for the day, but is it interesting because the story keeps evolving. We keep tracking as well. Uh, what, do you remember the senator from Bauchi State, Senator Issa Misa, who was on Sunday Politics uh, about two months ago? Uh, he was here with allegations against the police. We have brought the senator and the first public relations officer here on the show, right here in this studio. It was a very hot debate as allegations were flying from both sides of the room. But after their appearance on this show, the police commission confirmed that the senator actually followed due process when he retired. So that beat was arrested, clearing the senator of the accusation of being a deserter. Now to the senator's allegations uh, against uh, the police and the inspector general of police, Ibrahim Idris. Let's do a checklist. He alleges that the IGP makes up to 10 billion naira monthly from oil companies, banks, and private individuals who enjoy special protection from the security agencies that you have heard before. He said that the IGP engages in promotion racketeering at the commission that you have heard too. The senator reeled out allegations of fraud and nepotism against the force that you have heard, also heard, all of those, uh, well, are babies to the strong words of the senator when he was describing to his colleagues the level of corruption in the police. The accusations are weighty like the ones mentioned earlier, this time with a lot of details that are better left to the senator to express by himself. Watch. The ID is openly having two relationships with police women, which he promoted them openly under this special promotion. One of them is Amina, and one of them is DSP after. With the IG, on the uh, 15th of last month, he got married to that woman, DSP. And under police act and regulation, you cannot marry a serving woman police, unless if the woman, that woman retired. And he quickly did a secret wedding See, this secret wedding in Kaduna because the, who, the lady is pregnant, four months pregnant. This one is very bad. It's interesting. I'm saying it. Mr. President. Well, now the Senate has set up an eight-man ad hoc committee to investigate allegations of corruption uh, brought against the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Ibrahim Idris. The Senate also mandated its Committee on Ethics, Privileges, and Public 
uh, petitions to investigate police allegations against Senator Misao and present his findings to the House. Obviously, the last has not been heard of this. We'll keep you posted as events unfold.